It's your boy, Slim Nick Fox, with a review and recap of episode eight of Tulsa King. The episode starts with Mitch and Dwight trying to teach the others how to shoot in the crew. Of course, none of them know how to shoot except for the female of the crew. And she basically gets on Dwight about putting them in the middle of things. Kind of somewhat. It was like half putting them in the middle of things, half pep talk too. So it was like a 50-50 thing. Tyson, he been watching too many hood movies. He over there shooting the gun sideways. Like he in 1998 or something. Nobody shoot like that no more. He, he must have been still watching too many hood movies. I don't know what's going on with him. His, his aim and techniques. Stacy, she confronts the bike gang leader about the CI death. He basically just blows her off. You know what I'm saying? Tells her to run along. Basically, just kick her to the side. Dwight, he looking for muscle because, well, after that shooting range thing with the rest of the crew, he going to need it because that ain't dang. Other than the, and the, other than the girl, that crew ain't, ain't finna hit nobody. The mob leader's son, he on that BS. Power already done got to his head. He basically want to rub Dwight out. So that's basically his number one mission to rub Dwight out, it seemed like. So he already on go, trying to get Dwight up out the paint. Um, Tyson, he confronts Dwight. He don't really confront him, but he's talked to Dwight about what's going on. And when the cricket cops, they roll into the biker gang spot, and Dwight basically tell him, like, yeah, this, that's what's going on. The cricket cops work for the biker gang. The FBI, they show up. Stacy gives him something to focus on the bike again and off Dwight because, you know, she done had that little thing going on with Dwight. Her and Dwight been bang, bang, banging and, and slang, slang, slanging. And I ain't talking about no no drugs. They've been slanging bodies. So she trying to, she pretty much succeeded in focusing on getting them out of focusing on Dwight and on the bike again. Um, Tyson, he leaves the crib. You know what I'm saying? His dad gives him some words and a hug. You know, it's a real touching scene, man. You know, because, you know, any father, wouldn't want, you know, his son to go off like that. You know, you don't never know if you're going to see him again if he's involved in type of the type of stuff Tyson involved in. Dwight, he meets some dude at the at the uh, horse uh, owner, um, horse ranch owner uh, spot. And, you know, him, he basically, that's the, 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 the girl, the lady who owns the spot's ex-husband. And, you know, him and Dwight, they exchange words. I don't know if he's going to be a major player. In the series later on down the line or whatever. But obviously they don't like each other based off the words. Um Dwight, the the the, the crooked, the, the biker gang leader has the crooked cops basically try to snatch Dwight up. Dwight, he pretty much stares him down, you know what I'm saying? Pulls a 52 bluff on him, bluff him out, act like he got a gun on him. It's it's enough to scare the police. And you know, they get in their car and ride off. Um, it was a little, that, that part was a little unbelievable because that police ain't really finna go around like that. But, you know, I, I ain't never been in no situation like that. But I, in most cases, they ain't trying to let you roll them out like that. But, you know, it worked for the scene and, you know, they rolled off. I mean, it was cool. Dwight spotted what they what type of time they was on because pretty much he know what, what they pretty much was on anyway. The mob busted son, once again, he on that BS. He called and get Dwight that fake, that fake love talk. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you're trying to set him up. Yeah, I'm going to come out there and see you. You know what I'm saying? Probably try to come out there and kill a man. You know you know how that go. He gave him that fake love, fake fake warm, warmth to set him up for that, that okie dope. Yeah, you know what's coming probably with that. The, the white ain't that stupid. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he peeped out that whole scenario. And a whole bunch of other stuff goes on. And somebody gets shot. I ain't going to say who. It's, a, it's a kind of a major character. So, you know, we're gonna see where that goes in the next episode. Overall, hey man, it was it was a good episode. This this has been a steady series so far. I've been impressed with it. Um I'm gonna get episode eight of Tulsa King, three point three horses out of five. I mean, because horses play a little role in it. Um it's another solid episode. Overall been a solid series. And it's your boy, Stem the Fox, signing out. Peace.